morning. Well, it's definitely that time of year. Let's go check a couple fields. We're gonna be doing some fungiciding in the near future. We're actually doing a couple fields right now. We're gonna go look at a cornfield down the street. This is actually one my brother uh, put Maravis Neo on mm, last week. So we'll go check that field, see how it's looking. Then we're gonna check a couple fields that we're ready to do. In fact, this field right beside the shop is ready. So walk out here into this field a little bit. Let's see what all we can find disease wise. Itchy time of the year to walk through a field, but kind of important. I mean, we're definitely starting to get some legions on some plant, uh, some corn leaves. So we want to keep these leaves as green as possible. Anytime we get legions like that from diseases, they start to eat up some of the, well, some of the leaf material. Can't bring in as much sunlight and well, that keeps us from making as much grain. So the longer we can keep these dark green, the better. And that's why we use Maravis Neo. So typically gray leaf spot is one of our big ones in here and uh, Northern Corn Blight. So we, uh, Usually are spraying for that. Maribus Neo does a great job at controlling that. And then also in our area, tar spots starting to become a thing. We've not been hit hard yet. I don't see any in here, but it's also kind of early for it. Seems like tar spots, one of the things that kind of comes out late for us, or it seems like most people I hear talking about it, it seems like it comes out late. Now, one thing about gray leaf spot, from the time that we start seeing a legion on a, a legion on a plant, well, you've already got it. It's going to take 20 days, I think, for that to. Once you spray it, it could get worse for like 20 days or something like that. So that's why anymore we pretty much plan on spraying. Um, last year was a little bit different. We were in an extreme drought. And there were some places we didn't spray, but this year we've had plenty of moisture, a lot of humidity, which is perfect weather for gray leaf spot. So we will be spraying, uh, well, pretty much all the cornfields. Now we'll hop back in the truck and we'll go over to where BJ's spraying and I'll show you how we're spraying it. So in years past, we've always hired a plane to apply our fungicide. We have applied it with our high clearance sprayer before, but it is definitely not our favorite method just because we end up running over a decent amount of corn. But this year we're switching it up a little bit and I'll show you. Now it's about to be a little loud. see Bobby corn lots of corn so we're putting on our fungicide with a uh, with a drone this year I think they probably guessed that we've seen the trailer ah, possible so the drone application of the fungicide depends on who you talk to Drone sellers will tell you to get a more even application with it. I don't know. Um, either way, you get an application with it, which is important. And also, one of the nice things about doing it this way, fungicides, all of them, are extremely critical on timing, especially if you're only doing one application. And uh, doing with the drone, it doesn't matter if we have wet field conditions doesn't matter if a plane is busy and can't get to our fields for a while we're able to do it ourselves that's one issue we ran into with crop dusters was timing one other nice thing you can really get a good view of the field from up here which is kind of the idea we built this drone trailer last summer and we bought it was just a flat deck and then we welded up a, a frame to stand on got a nice little desk umbrella Air conditioner. 
got her rigged up to charge batteries, so that's why there's a generator running. Basically, when he comes back here to land, he's going to land, swap batteries. They're right there. Fill nozzles right there. In a day, we can do roughly 200 acres, you think, on a decent day? Yeah, that's not really pushing it. That's big fields, not really getting too stressed. I know guys that can do 250 to 300, but... Now, obviously, with the sprayer, we could do more. I mean, the dra main drawback of the drone is capacity. What are you putting on? Uh, two gallons an acre? Two gallons is a 10-gallon ten ten gallon tank. So, five acres at a time. So, there's a lot of fill-ups. The fill-ups are quick, though. So, that is uh, not as big of an issue as you'd think. Once you get grooving, you can really, really get through it. Now, this trailer increased productivity probably doubled it, you think? Oh. So before that, uh, before we built the trailer, we were doing it on the ground, not near as fast, but uh, yeah, so far the uh, amount of stuff we can do in a day has not been an issue. Also, when you think about it, most of the time the crops are going to be kind of staggered. So we have right at 1,400 acres of corn this year. So if he's able to do 200 acres a day, easily can get through our needs, no problem. There's the uh, the application equipment. That's a DJI T40. There's the air condition. Yeah. Yeah, you get a pretty good uh, pretty good gust of air when you so take that off crop the blast is actually pushing that fungicide down. Isn't that the theory too? Right. We'll see how quick we can do a swap and get him back in there. First thing I have to do is record how many gallons are still in my tank because I don't have any way of knowing if my inductor is empty downstairs. That's ah. one drawback of the trailer. So I can subtract out what's... I got a method. <laughs> okay. I got a method. It works. Only one of those is charging at a time. Charging, cooling, and running. the magic that's the juice so a lot of nice features about doing it this way also if we do find tar spot and we find it in one spot or one field it's pretty easy for us to load up and go do that versus waiting on a plane one of the issues we got into with planes planes are quick you're not the one doing it, you're doing other tasks, which is handy, and they're really fun to watch. Don't get me wrong, watching a crop duster work is very entertaining. Those guys are very brave with their planes, but so it might only be two planes in Southern Ohio, and he might be three counties over, might not be able to get to you for a while, because you have to schedule that. Whereas this, we can not be so scheduled. And they don't like to show up for 50 acres. Yeah. They try to get 1,000 acres at a time, I believe. So we just get a little bit more versatility like this and we're not running over crop. So you may be wondering how do you know where you've been because you're obviously not in it. You're running a controller. So uh, we have a pre-programmed -pre route here. The yellow is where we haven't been. The green is where we have been. And uh, this little guy right here, that's where we're going to run out if I let him go uh, to empty probably won't let him go to empty because of battery life. Um, big fields, I can certainly run empty and get back to the trailer with plenty of battery and not be concerned. But uh, smaller operations where there's lots of turns, you gotta, you gotta make sure you got plenty of battery to get home. It was a learning process, let me tell you. The good news is when you total one of, one of these drones, it's only like $2,300 to fix it if it's real bad. <laughs> It was a learning progress process. My advice would be do not do it in corn the first time. Maybe try it in wheat. Yeah, spray your wheat. Maybe run a little fungicide on some beans, set the where you can get out in easily if you put it down. When you put it down. When you put it down. You will. So down here we've got totes of water and then our uh, Maribus 
And then our Mervis Neo down there, he's basically putting a batch into that uh, inductor. And that inductor's what the chemical's coming out of up top. Works pretty well. Okay, we didn't buy this drone trailer, it was built, but there was a lot of internet influence, I guess you could say. We're still kind of early in fungicide season, but as some of these different cornfields mature and stuff, everything will be applied within the next probably 10 days. Uh, it just depends on where they are as far as growth, but I'm pretty excited. So far we have the makings for a pretty good corn crop. We've had plenty of moisture, plenty of growing degree days. And uh, now with our Mervis Neo applied, I feel like we've uh, and everything we can on our end, now it's in Mother Nature's hands.